bit of an up and down time at the World Cup. How's the body feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Um, you know, obviously from a personal note, it was a little bit disappointing the way it all finished for myself. But um, I think from a from a team point of view, there's a, a lot of positives that we took from the from the whole tournament. And um, you know, looking forward now, obviously Brazil's done. I think looking forward, we can be uh, we can be very positive about the the way that our game's heading. I mean, obviously this is a fun event here with these people, but for a lot of them, these streets aren't their home. It's a pretty sad reality. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know, we've been obviously. Uh, talking about it quite a bit and um, you know, for people to be putting in place uh, days like today to, to not only spread the message but to, to lend a hand where we can I think is very important because the numbers at the moment are extremely high uh, especially in youth I think from 18 to 25 it's the, maybe the highest it's ever been and, and obviously that's, um, that's very hard to take so as I, say, I think it's important for us to, to be involved in things like this and it may only be minimal the help that we can give, but I think um, you know any help that we can give is is a benefit. What are the expectations heading into the Asian Cup, given the performance in Brazil? Um, well, I, I think at the moment, uh, from a playing point of view, everyone's sort of had a little bit of time away from the game uh, to, to, I guess, firstly look back on Brazil and obviously to, to look forward to the Asian Cup. And look, I think the expectations the players are going to put on it are going to be extremely high. I think, um, you know, especially after our, our success at the last Asian Cup, I think to be at home, um, you know, expectations will be will be to win it, and I think that'll that'll be driven by the players after the performance and um, effort that we put in through Brazil. And the, your body has the hamstring and the knees that you struggled with, I guess, during last season. Yeah, no, I've been I've been very lucky with my knee since I um, since I had it done in uh, I think it was early February. Um, you know, I haven't had any dramas with that, and and the hamstring was just you know it was just poor timing. Uh, I was probably. To be fair, uh, you know, a couple of days away from that Spain game. If it was, if I had a few more days, you know, I would have been able to to push a little bit harder for a spot. I think it was just um, obviously being in uh, the setup that the World Cup is, the tournament setup. Uh, you, you have limited time to, to deal with things, so look, it was just it was just unfortunate. Um, everyone there was was pushing their bodies as, as hard as they could to be to be a part of every day. Firstly, every day's training, and secondly, every game. And uh, but you're back in pre-season training or full training or just yeah no I'm um, well officially I'm I'm still on holidays but I came back a little bit early to work with Ant uh, just make sure that um, all, all my niggles were gone uh, and make sure that my body was right to to join in I was going to join in full training next week but ended up doing a, quite a bit more today um, which which was good and uh, yeah I've I've missed it so. Um, no, today, today it was good to get a hit out with the boys and I look forward to getting back into it fully and normally next week. There's some exciting new faces at the club this season. How, is, how are the boys reacting to the new arrivals? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we've made some very, very good signings, uh, both foreign and, and Australian based. I think the experience that Carl brings and uh, you know his commitment to the game is, uh, is, is second to none. He's, uh, he's an outstanding athlete and a wonderful footballer. I think he's... Um, all three of them, uh, Besh and, and Maddie, they're uh, they're very good to have around with the the experience that they bring. Um, you know, we have a lot of good young boys coming through, but uh, it, it doesn't mean a great deal if you don't have these sort of players there to to help lead them and, and guide them and direct them. And I think I think the balance at the moment is excellent. What about your contract situation? Have you signed that extension yet? No, no, I haven't. I haven't signed. Everything's been uh, negotiated and. Um, look, it's, it's been a long process. We're just sort of sitting down now, um, dotting the I's and crossing the T's and uh, just making sure that, um, yeah, everything's, everything's in place. So, Is the plan for you to play in the FFA Cup against Bayswater? Um, I'm really not sure. As I said, I've uh, been doing quite a bit uh, on my own, uh, more away from the team. I've, I've spoken to, to Kevin a, a little bit about it, but um, look, obviously it's something that I'd like to be involved in that, uh, you know, I think if uh, if it's right that uh, I will be involved in, but it, ju it just depends how um, how we go next week and how much I get through. Obviously, I'm quite a way behind the rest of the boys uh, who have been working extremely hard this preseason, so um, I still have a little bit of catching up to do. Well, did you catch any of the FA Cup action on Tuesday night? Uh, no, I was, I was um, I got a I got a look of it on Twitter because we had a game on uh, on Tuesday night, so. 
Yeah, I just saw it on Twitter and I saw the highlights. Uh, obviously, there's still quite a few boys playing in that that um, you know that I've either played with or knew uh, growing up. So look, I think it's a, a wonderful concept and. Um, I was unaware of how much coverage it was going to get, so I think it's excellent that um, that it is getting a lot of airtime, uh, both on social media and obviously on Fox as well. I think it's wonderful for the Australian public to, to be able to see see this, and I think as we get deeper in the competition and uh, A-League clubs start coming in and we start seeing maybe a few upsets and things like that, I think it'll just help the competition grow. And when you say that you want to play, is it because of the competition or is it just because you love playing football? Well, I think first and foremost it's because I've, this is the longest I've had off in a long time and, and I miss kicking the ball around. Uh, but secondly, as I say, I think it's a wonderful concept. And, um, you know, so far everything's gone, gone to plan, I guess. And um, I think it's, it's very exciting for, for the A-League clubs and, and for the teams that, um, the, the lesser teams that are coming through. I think it's, a, yeah, I think it's a wonderful, it would be something very good to be involved in early on. You hit to play a game of street football. Do you think you'll face some tough competition? Yeah, absolutely. I think all competition at the moment will be tough for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, from what I've heard, there's some very handy, handy players down here today. Did you learn something from the, uh, the streets of Brazil that you can maybe bring uh, out to, to the alleyway over there? Uh, I think they're they're still in a league of their own. There's some amazing talent that that sits in uh, sits on on the street corners there and and uh, performs for you when you stopped at red lights and things like that. Um, so look, it, it's just nice to see that uh, that football across all walks of life is is really helping in uh, all aspects of life. Just on that aspect, I mean, what what role do you think that soccer can play in engaging the young people who are living in the street? Well, I think I think sport in general is a, is a wonderful way to, to bring people together. I think football is uh, is obviously the world, the world game, so it, it doesn't it doesn't discriminate, and and everybody who uh, I guess as any sporting part in their body is um, knows about football and wants to be involved. So look, I think it's a great way to get to get people together, and it's um, yeah, it's just a great way to build on life in general.